Hey guys, good morning. So, it's snowing today and I thought it'd be a great moment to whip up one of our rainy bear carriers. I mean, we really hardly get any snow here. It's a few times a year if we're lucky. So it's quite the, the special occasion. So, I was already getting started without realizing that it would be a good excuse to take a video. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so when cutting these back panels in uh, our rainy bag collection we have a bunch of markings we need to add in order to make the sewing a lot more precise because you know we have to know where the bottoms are going to connect where the pouch needs to come where the zippers uh, and straps need attaching so let's sort that out So a lot of people keep telling us that the elastics we use uh, to attach the collars, the dog's uh, collar to, should uh, be a better position than the bottom. So on this prototype we're just uh, going to try that out. But that's for later. First uh, let's finish this panel. So this is the back panel. Now I'm going to cut the pouch, the bottom of the bag. The bottom also has a couple of markings to determine the position so everything lines up properly. So this will become the pouch, this one will become the bottom and for the prototype we will be making well, let's see, a beige one. And let's roll this back panel. There we are, that's all of the inside panels cut, the fabrics cut, and now it's time to cut the filling for the cushion. Well, not so much for the cushion, <laughs> but uh, for the carrier itself, so the, to make sure the dog, to make sure your dog stays warm. For this, we use a very nice 400 gram hollow fiber. It's custom made for us, and it's really intended to keep your dog nice and warm. It's rather firm at the, at first. After washing, it softens up a bit. But uh, we, we want it firm in production because it just helps us a lot to become a, get a much, much nicer result. Now it's important when you cut these, when you draw them, that you actually make the filling slightly smaller than the rest of the fabric. Like this, everything just fits perfectly. Otherwise you have to adjust while sewing. So it's something we learned along the go. It just needs to be a tiny tad smaller. Next up, we're going to cut the ribbons. In the ribbons, essentially, we already have a few pre-made, and uh, there we are. This stuff is really strong. You can pull this, this is not gonna do anything. It's insanely strong, these ribbons. And they come with nice metals. The metals are made in Italy and they last forever. It's beautiful quality. The whole thing is very beautiful quality. So now it's time to re-thread the machine. I'm just going to replace uh, the one bobbin. So yesterday I was making things in brown, time to switch to black, as it's our black rainy bear. Sometimes I see people retreading the whole machine, it's um, quite unnecessary, you can just replace the top bobbin, and then here 
push the lever to release the tension and just pull the thread through. Right, let's get the sewing edge out of the way and pop in a black spool. instead of this brown one. In the meantime, let's also put the thread in the needle. All done. Sewing time. So I'm gonna try and have you see as much as I can of this process. It's quite difficult with the camera. But... It should work out just fine. So we're going to start with the pouch. We double check our edge guide. Now here we use about a one centimeter seam just to give the material extra strength because the, the bag does have to carry a weight. So first off, the pouch. Let's turn it inside out. and get the distances right. So we have a three centimeter fold. So before we go sewing this pouch on, let's put a press button on it. So, and on the back panel as well. So it actually becomes a functional pouch. After loading up our press button machine, we position our workpiece and there you go. The back panel needs to be marked, after which we can also put the button on it. But not before we replace the dies. Dice replaced, time to add it. So, okay, workpiece is in place, put the button, and there you go. Here's the other side of the press button. Let's align it beautifully. Now the, the pouch nicely fits on the workpiece and let's get the light to move a bit. Let's add the uh, elastics and the ribbons and straps. Now straps get extra back tacking so you have uh, a lot of thread to hold it all in very strongly so they cannot tear out. It's very important when making carriers that you know the, the dog has to be secure. Moving on to the second one. Next step, align everything nicely. And prepare for sewing. So here we start getting to the real work. Let's get it all on. Time to sew. Now 
Now since this material is quite thick, a normal sewing machine wouldn't go through it, so we use these heavy duty triple transport machines to make carriers. And it's an absolute delight. The work is precise, consistent, no machining problems, exactly as it should be. We have to complete the circle. So again here as well, it has to be nicely aligned. One of the things that makes our carrier so special is the fact that we sew in our padding all the way around the carrier. This makes sure for this gives you a durable long lasting life. Simply it's it's all in place. We stick it in the washing machine and it cannot move around. It is very essential for a durable carrier that you're gonna enjoy for a very very long time. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add our branding here in front. We use a, a gold colored messing label and uh, that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so our messing label will come right here, about five centimeters from the top. And we're gonna start with loading up the machine. So we have to line it up nicely with the pins. Boom! Here you are. The next thing we're going to do is uh, connect the bottom. Make sure that the two layers of fabric are nicely aligned before we start putting on the bottom of the carrier. Now it's time to clean up the edges before we put on the bottom of the new carrier. So we're using this Pegasus overlock. It's a three thread overlock and uh, we'll just nicely clean it off. Okay. As you can see, this is all nicely cleaned up. And it's ready to be put the bottom on. Here you are, all done. And now, as we are ready, with the carrier itself, or at least almost ready, it's time to make the cushion. Now whilst making this cushion, I just realized that I didn't add the, the elastic. So let's sort that out. Now with elastics it's important they are also very well attached, otherwise it will cause problems and that is something we do not want. Right, so we use a smaller stitch length and make sure the elastic sticks out a bit so that it is definitely well attached and a lot of back decking. Okay ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to grab us one of our legendary orthopedic cushions. I'll have to show you on another day how these are made, but uh, this is it, three layers, 
a layer of hollow fiber, the one custom made for us, a layer of foam for extra support, and then a bottom panel that's very sturdy to make sure that the dog's back stays straight. So let's go put that in. Okay, time to put the cushion in. You can do this too, it's very easy. It's just zippers in and uh, it's all very washable of course. You just take off the cover, throw in the outside in the washing machine and that's it. The same with the carrier, you can just put the whole thing in the washing machine. So let's turn this one inside out or outside in. Final check. Et voilà, our rainy bear carry beige. Adjustable straps. Let's put it to the minimum. With pouch. And elastic. All done. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and uh, looking forward to the next episode, bye!